strike PS2 against me. Teehee. Anyways, uh, Adi going with Palutena and the Looney, of course, sticking with Snake and choosing to up to the battlefield. Yeah, uh, this is post nerf Palutena. We might get to see some of that in effect. She did only get nerfed on two of her moves and actually got buffed on two others. Down smash got increased knockback and up tilt got increased damage and knockback on the last yes. hit. Uh, beyond that, she did get two, probably one nerf more substantial than the other, I think. Uh, down throw now, the knockback scales much farther with percent. And so, like, after 50 or so percent, it no longer, like, confirms into anything unless yeah. somebody you're obviously no longer, panics. You're no longer getting, like, down throw back here at the ledge, killing your opponent at, like, 70. Yeah. Um, but right now, Odyssey is like struggling to find a way to get in on Looney, almost getting the tech chase really nicely on the roll in, but of course, slightly off on the timing of execution there. You think you grab there? <laughs> Neat. <laughs> uh, now, I will say, Odyssey in general, he's a very movement-based player. Uh, really likes that sort of style of play. And as you can see, he's actually playing Palutena a little bit like yeah. that. Very grounded, but oh, the so risk of staying grounded is good. getting grabbed. Yeah, um, especially against Snake, like like Odyssey at a high percent, people tend to gravitate like to roll to towards the middle of the stage because they really want to reassert stage control. And so Looney just like capitalized on that, got a nice kill off of it. Um, Looney building up quite a lead for himself, only 84% as Snake. And as Snake, you were living for such long periods of time. And Snake's damage output. The character is just one of the best with a percent lead, just because he is heavy, and when he hits you once, it counts. What was... Was that a little bit of suspect DI from Looney on the down throw? I don't even know. Um, the back throw, just to get a little bit of stage control. Right now, Odyssey is going to be trying to catch a landing with uh, probably up in, but the forward are doing a great job of stuffing out Looney's drift. <gasps> oh, and he knew that he was going to go to the ledge there, which is... Like, that's the option that you think they wouldn't go for. Yeah. But I guess with the grenade off to the side, he was forced into that situation. Looney going up really, really high. Throwing off Odyssey's timing just a little bit. So, but... All right. That was a grenade, wasn't it? Yes. That's that's Snake, baby. You know, that's you know sometimes you just got to hold that. Uh, you know, beautiful use of the grenade, though, to just, like, sort of explode and trade away out of the neutral out. Because otherwise, he would have eaten, like, 30-something percent for sure. Ooh. He's looking for that up tilt, and he finds it. Great, great way to secure the stock. Oh, great reaction from Odyssey. He saw that Snake got hit by that grenade, and he was able to confirm off of it. That's actually one of Odyssey's best parts as a player. His reaction time is really good. As we've seen, he hasn't gotten hit by C4 once. Like, he will run right under it, and he will react to that Snake, whether it's the voice line or whatever. Wow, and he gets the read. A forward smash takes Snake stock super yeah. early. Like, you saw Odyssey get the download a little bit earlier when, like, he down threw him, and Looney DI'd in an air dodge. And he did the same exact thing here. So that was a very, very nice calculated read from Odyssey. It wasn't just, like, taking cold shots in the dark. It was, like, a great adaptation to a very, like, fatal habit that Looney has to catch on to ASAP. I mean, that's a bit of a wake-up call for you. <laughs> Ideally, like, like, yeah, Looney's a good player. He's probably not going to go for that. Because that's the sort of situation where you pick the option that got killed. Yeah. Every other option you could have done, pretty much, you would have taken damage. You wouldn't have died, though. <gasps> oh my! Well, I have been saying how you know the entire game Odyssey was avoiding getting hit by C4, and right there, I don't know what exactly happened. Maybe that was a miss input. He just like grabbed in place. That was right. Was he expecting? Was he so confident that Looney would jump into him and hit his shield that he went for a grab? Or did he miss input something out of shield, like like uh, he wanted to do a buffered aerial, but just pressed A before the jump or something like that? I I think he, when you look at the actual, uh, you look at the replay. I think he just put the card up before the horse. If you look at the timing of when he went for the grab, yeah. it was right when he was like, I think that that wasn't a phantom footstool, but he was right on top of his shield. Mm -hmm. So that was I'm, honestly that was just a fantastic read from Looney Tunes. Oh, Odyssey really, really got to watch out for those explosive flames. He's doing them at long range, and, you know, almost every single character can react and punish to that accordingly. Um, even percents. Town oh my god, those grenades just setting them both up. 
Okay, Odyssey taking a much more projectile, long-range approach this game, which could work out really well for him. Snake does have good long range as well, but in terms of the risk involved when you're, you know, Palu, it's much easier. Like, look at this. He's just staying back, throwing out these moves. Oh! That was so good. That was, like, brilliant, because if he grabbed him, he would have gotten hit by grenade. And that is another great adaptation from Looney. He wasn't just rolling the dice there. He was like, okay, last time I did down throw, Odyssey went for the tech in. He's going to try to mix it up this time because he doesn't want to die. And he adapted to that. Well, he could have been taking shots in the dark. It, it could have been one or the uh, other. Well, if you remember that we, uh, earlier, it's, I think it's just Odyssey has been tech rolling to the ledge. Yeah. So I think that that's just something that the YouTube's picked up on. But wow, that up smash. Odyssey. Okay. okay. This is the interesting thing that, you know, this might be due to Palu nerfs or whatever, or it could just be the way Odyssey plays. He's been taking so many stocks with smash attacks, and Palu is not a character known for taking stocks with her smash attacks. If you're taking stocks with smash attacks, that's just like a sort of, again, like you mentioned before, the big wake-up call for the opponent. Like, okay, you're clearly doing something here that you have really predictable defensive habits or something, and this is the optimal punish on that but looney had the most suspect di i've ever seen on that up smash <laughs> finally getting called out for that yeah and not only that the stage really helping out odyssey that platform giving him the boost to make it all the way up there and this is huge i don't think odyssey has had a stock lead yet in this set let's see if he can do anything with it oh i love that that was so smart knowing that he was locked into the nikita he could recover up to that platform Great. Once again, like great use of the grenades just to be able to get out of the nail shrink. See, force on the platform, it's coming towards him. Oh, <laughs> oh God, he's just there. He's just coming. <laughs> if Ludi got the moving platform, C C4, <laughs> I might have just left the setup completely. Um, honestly, he's doing a great job of just like applying the pressure, but. Wow. wow. Okay, his tech chases have just been so on point. He's I, gotten three I out of think, four. Yeah, like he's. He's just been so good with them. Not only that, but they're happening at kill percents. Yes. Like, like the way that Looney just is able to get such a good lead on his opponent. Because Tech Chase is for the most part like a handle on your opponent's psyche. Are they going to center? Are they desperate to get back onto center? Are they trying to like go away? Like, what's happening? So Looney catching the aggressive like option, which is definitely one of the most uncommon ones. <gasps> is it back to cool Looney with really good DI? If he died to that, I would have been a little. He shouldn't die to this one that's stale mm -hmm. a little bit. And 120 percent as Snake, like you could be living through quite a bit longer. Odyssey unable to punish the drop down spot dodge. Oh, and another smash attack! The amount of smash attacks that have been taking stocks here. I think that just, Odyssey has been huge call outs on his part. He's been doing. Mm -hmm. It, it, it feels like more of a fundamentals approach. Yeah. You know, where he's like really understanding those key pivotal moments where he can risk it all. That down smash, super great catching the roll. Mm -hmm. And the knockback was just buffed. That didn't make a difference there. But yeah. down smash was one of the buff moves. So, uh, so Looney has a little bit of a habit of, okay, he's at high percent. He goes for goals in. And he also goes for neutral air dodges out of a grab. So he... Every, he needs to right now, he needs to, if he really wants to take this, if he really wants to make the upset of the Odyssey, he has to sit here and he has to think about how did I just lose almost all of my stocks to a smash attack? And he has to watch out for those defensive options. Because he's just locking himself into these kills. Hmm. Uh, what stage did we get? Lilat. Lilat was not banned, so we will be getting it. And. This is going to be interesting. I will say that that long-range game that Odyssey started to take at the beginning of Game 2 could work really well on this stage. Both Explosive Flame and the Auto Radical kind of don't care about the slant. Yeah, I mean, depends on your positioning. Looney doing a great job of just like setting up with grenades and just waiting for Odyssey to get a little bit too overzealous. And look at that, he's able to convert so much percent from that. Mm, Odyssey with a dash grab in the complete wrong direction. That's big. Doesn't go for the down throw or anything like that. Just wants him off stage. Ah, he ends up hitting his shield while he's holding grenade. And getting the automatic multi parry. Sometimes there's some moves with the fast enough re hit rate that even though it's technically patched out, it still happens. Um, that's going to be the back throw. And he, like again, Odyssey has the lead that Looney Tunes is going to go high. It's just up to him to get the exact 
pixel positioning of his eyes, so he'll be able to punish. Yeah, all right, I'm going to go, by the way, on PSA duty and just point out wherever C4 is on the stage, because ooh, already Odyssey has been caught once by it. He seems to be doing fine at this moment. He has a stock lead once again, and honestly, it doesn't, it feels like a much like a really earned stock lead. Like yes. his adaptation is finally kicking in. He's starting to really understand the way Looney Tunes is trying to approach him and his defensive options, like you said before. Uh, he should have been... He had the right idea just a little bit too late. I'm not sure if the top kid about tilt might kill on the Lilac platform. Um, no clue. Regardless, bringing it back to basically an even game, using the grades to just trade your way out of that once again. Who clank him with the grabs there. Okay, I love that setup. I love the attention behind it. That was pretty cool. Okay, again, picks the immediate defensive option, but Odyssey not actually able to get... I mean, he still has all of this pressure on him. Fair amount of... I'm seeing a whole lot of whiffs from Looney. On. Sorry. <laughs> I realize it's not very helpful to just shout it, but... And there's another smash attack! Just catches him dropping shield! Mm -hmm. Yeah, this set seems to be slipping away from Looney. Odyssey's getting much more comfortable in closing it out. Beautiful use of the reflector there just to trade a little bit to get back onto stage. Beautiful use of a teleport cancel, like, once again, like, he is completely up in Looney's rhythm. I will say that, yes, it was good usage there, but Looney seems to know he wants it. He missed the punish that time, but there is... I would not have faith that he would... Because he tried to punish it twice, and they're on a last stock situation here. This is game three, last stock, and if you're Odyssey, if you go for that uh, teleport cancel a third time, I... I'd be surprised if Lumi does not actually get the punish then. Also, remember the C4 at the center of the stage. This is such a good placement for Looney because, like, if he's out there and his Odyssey is holding center, that is free shield pressure. <laughs> that trying to reset the C4 and maybe try to get a raw hit out of it. Like, this is still very, very doable for Looney. Um, he just has to get back onto stage in a really safe way. Oh, Cypher saving his keister right there, but he's still at 136. This is still a really hard uphill battle for him to come back from. All these high recoveries effectively, like, stop Palutena from playing, like, her fundamental game, which is ledge trapping and kills with down tilt. Um, and so, like, you see Odyssey really struggling to take the stock right now. Enjoy that time. Alright, Grab doesn't even go for a tech chase, just wants to get him off stage. Hopes that perhaps putting him on the ledge will be his ticket to victory. But right now, 180%. He goes super high. That was such a beautiful read. The explosive he was like, flame actually doing it. My son, Odyssey, was like, yeah, you are going to be reverse to the right because you are afraid of my character model. So look at the way that he positions this. So he goes up. Right? Did he be reverse himself? Then, he, because he's to the left of him, he has such a good read. The fact that Looney will always be reverse away. And because he got that read, that he'll be reverse away. He's like, bam! Explosive flame right there. Pa-pa! And then, that's the stop. How is 